Cheers, Brad. Well done today. We'll see you tomorrow. OK, as you probably heard from the sirens behind me there, we're almost ready to go in our first live race of the weekend. It's the Dickies British Supersport Championship Sprint Race with Jack Kennedy on pole position, and James Hayden and Jack Bernicle in the country race. Yes, Jack Kennedy has put himself on pole, having had to give best to Ben Curry in both races at Donington Park. Number four, Jack Kennedy, who's got uh, mixed memories of Brands Hatch, of course, having come so very, very, very close to being uh, champion in 2012 until his bike let him down here at the final round of the Brands Grand Prix circuit. But earlier that year, on the Martre Yamaha, he had won here at Brands Indy. So Jack Kennedy, uh, mixed memories of Brands Hatch. He starts on pole position. Ben Curry's alongside him for Gaelic Kawasaki. He's not going to let the boy get too far away. Bradley Jones from uh, Stalbridge on the integral Yamaha. Teammate to Jack Kennedy completes the front row. Second row is headed by Jamie Perry from Joe Francis and this man Ross Twyman on the EHA group Yamaha. Not such a good qualifier from his teammate David Allingham down in a lucky 13th place alongside James Westman still getting used to super sports again and Josh Owens who the Liverpoolian is the leader of the GP2 class uh, the Moto2 class uh, on the grid in 15th place Ben Curry leads after those two brilliant victories at Donington Park from Jack Kennedy and Tom Oliver who was the brightest of the rookies a brilliant third place for him in the championship five points ahead of Ross Twyman Jake Westmoreland returns and is on 21 points in fifth ahead of David Allen Tommy Philpen drove the Yamaha in seventh James Rispoli the new man at Everquick Racing uh, is in eighth place Tim Need in ninth and Bradley Perry tenth 11th place for Danny Booth on 8 points, Robert Kennedy, who's qualified very well here, incidentally, in 9th place, is in 12th. Uh, the second equipped racing bike of Bjorn Esperance is in 13th place ahead, and Brad Jones, who will be making the most he hopes of this qualifying. Joey Thompson, Sam Wilford, Dan Drayton, Harry Trull, Dan Stamper, last year's Superstock 600 champion, is also there ahead of the single point for Matt Wigley of the Wigley Twins from Cannock and Staffordshire. Dickies British Super Sport, race one, the grid. Jack Kennedy, Ben Curry, Brad Jones on the front row, Jamie Perrin, Joe Francis and Ross Twyman on the second. Behind them, Tom Oliver for SGR Racing Yamaha, ahead of Dan Stamper and Robert Kennedy. And then the man from Florida, James Rispoli, ahead of Bradley Perry and Kurt Wigley in 12th place. And then I mentioned that Alling and Westmoreland as George Owens, the leading motor two bike behind them. Tommy Phil, Danny Booth and Sam Wilford, Bjorn Esmond, Tim Neave and James Hillier. Interesting to see Hillier having an outing on the super sport bike, of course. Road specialist, multiple podium finisher in the Isle of Man TT. So Hillier, who rides for the JG Speed Fit team for Pete Extens' team on the roads, is back there on row seven. Altogether, 36 riders on the grid, including another uh, race specialist from the road. That's William Dunlop with the Dunlop family there, right near the back on the penultimate road of the grid. Handling 600s then, ready to go. Jim, oh, a good start by Curry. He gets the power down so much better than the two Yamahas. And the two Yamaha teammates there slip back to second and third. And a great start then for Gaelic Kawasaki and Australia's Ben Curry. Yeah, it looks like uh, Kennedy was having a look up the inside of your right, Jack. Just timed it absolutely perfect. Flew off the start of the car. Dropping down the hill into what was once called bottom bend. And you can see that uh, Jamie Perrin's made a lightning fast start. Remember that Perrin, unfortunately, uh, knocked himself unconscious during practice at, at Donington Park and wasn't allowed to take part in the racing. But you can see that he's come back with a bit of spirit here because he's already danced through in the third place ahead of Bradley Jones. Yeah. So Jamie Perrin from Kettering into third place. Yeah, no, it's good. He qualified well in fourth and uh, you know, he's going well down here now. Look at this, the front two once again. But is there anything that jumping Jack Kennedy can do about Ben Curry? So Cousa leads the way. Yeah, I think, I mean, obviously Curry, last time out at Donington Park, it was Curry and the green gear and Kawasaki in the lead that took two wins, and behind him, number four, Jack Kennedy, uh, that took two seconds. But I think that Kennedy's definitely got, uh, you know, I think he's definitely got a, a reply for him here. He needs to find it soon, doesn't he? There's the Dubliner, number four. 30 years old now, Jack. Oh. Remember, of course, 
he had two very, very capable seasons on the World Super Sport scene, but he's 7th and 12th in those two years, and got himself a World Super Sport podium at Porto Mal in Portugal in 2014. Francis, Oliver Twyman, and I think, I think the red flag's out, James. It I is. think the red flag's come out. So yeah, what a shame. Just, this, yeah. just uh, his bike blue, so they're just having a look. That's uh, that's number 23. That's, uh, uh, I don't like to try it. Serge Kravchenko of Latvia on the Motors Gruppe Motorparks uh, Triumph. So it's always difficult when it's like that, but as you can see, if he's uh, he's gone round and spilled some oil, it's, the, the organisers have just got to stop it, they've got to check the surface just to make sure there's uh, yeah, there isn't some oil spillage which will cause an accident. So that's a, that's a big shame. The race was just getting going, but uh, there's no choice. So Integral Yamaha waits to welcome their two riders. Oh, oh dear, God, yeah, he was right in the middle of the track when that happened. Oh gosh. Well, hopefully, with a bit of luck, it might have stayed uh, in the belly pan. It's making a lot of smoke because obviously it's going on the exhaust, but the guy's having a good look. And that's actually right down, so that marshal I can see, he's there sort of below us here having a little look around, inspecting that track, and uh, you can see you know, great great marshalling here anyway, great organisation, so they'll have a good look now. Are the, are the soles of a pair of boots the best way to do that then, James? Is it as simple as that? If you feel it slippy underneath your feet, then... Well, there's not much better way unless you want to get down and... Uh, Exactly that. I mean, to be honest, testing it with the foot, testing it with the finger. I mean, you you can see it normally because it is a slick, you know, oil. It's uh, it's quite obvious. Number 74, York's Joey Thompson, who's riding for Team ILR. That's uh, Ian Locker's crew on a Kawasaki. There is the number 23 bike pulled well off the track with an elderly pair of well scuffed leathers on the Latvian's shoulders. So Jack Kennedy then. Uh, looking to see it well he has a chance of a better start both these both these boys have because they were certainly done by the gearlink kawasaki off the line james he really got the jump on them yeah i mean it's it's hard to know whether that, whether that's just a little bit of better reaction it's just a slightly better drive off the line and you just timed your clutch and your revs a little bit better um or whether it just could be just a fraction lighter there's so many variables this is richard kerr he's one of the lads who's leapt up into this class direct from moto 3 there's the bike. Quick restart, original grid positions. Yeah, that's good news just to get it going quickly on this beautiful day here. So they're rolling the bike, the offending motorcycle off then, and uh, the original grid positions mean that, that Jack Kennedy once again... James, the, the outside line into Paddock Hill, presumably that is the favourite. You wouldn't, you, would, you wouldn't want pole position to be on the inside, the lower end, with that short, sharp run to the apex, would you? Which would you prefer? No, it's, um, it's always been that way, you know, the outside line for whichever way.